Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Warframe. So, there's no reason for me to be looking at this. And there's also... I feel bad. I potatoed this Mirage, and Mirage Prime is going to be the next Prime frame. Oh well, happens. Somebody said you can, uh, you can queue up your bounties from, uh, from the launcher. I've never been able to figure out how to do that. If somebody could tell me exactly how to access Kanzu's bounties without uh, touching down in Cetus, I'd actually be really thankful. Oh, right. Oh, wait, no, 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 I spent all of my, um... I, I spent all of my rep. Didn't I? Yeah, I did. Bad. Okay, well, best thing for me to do is honestly keep doing what I was doing. Do I switch anything out? So the one thing is, odd. Uh, somebody called me out on this. Um, you're supposed to keep spamming one with Mirage to keep her, her, uh, like, group thing up. Main reason why I haven't been doing that is purely, uh, I, I set her up for durability. I, I wanted her to be able to live. Let's get rid of Rush. Um, I'm only going to be able to do a little bit of modding on her to, to make her anything, but it's better. We'll just do Streamline and this. Unfortunately, I think I need a, uh, I think I need a specific mod. You know what? I might actually be able to get said mod. I am I belong to four different uh factions and I might be able to get the uh I might be able to get the thing. Of course I have no idea which one's the Mirage. Okay, here we go. Oh! I've already got the Hall of Malevolence. The damage of your doppelgangers is increased by five percent for every time every time you kill an enemy. Okay. I apparently have both of those. No idea how, but hey, there we go. Okay, let's see if I can go put that on. Okay, it's Hall of Malevolence. There we go. Oh, uh... I guess I'll get rid of Streamline for the time being. We might as well upgrade that. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Mods! Okay. There we go. So... I assume that just increases the the time it lasts. I actually have no idea. Uh, let's see, the other thing I could do is probably get rid of Vigor. Yeah, at this point my, my health and my, my shields are high enough that I can probably survive. So I got 16 slots. Uh... Maybe Continuity? Maybe efficiency. We should probably go. We should. We should go efficiency first. Unfortunately, that's pretty much the extent of what I can do. Uh, at least for a little while. There's. There's some other things that I'm gonna want to be able to use, but we'll just live. Okay, but yeah, be best option is for me to slowly get to learn Mirage, even though I'm not gonna be able to form a her. Um, so Mirage Prime will probably be out within the next month or two, so I'm pretty much just gonna get this one up to max, uh, and then just leave it and then go get Mirage Prime. Because, yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to get into Mirage, but there's no point in investing the time, e effort, and formas in. I've already wasted a potato, but I've got so many spare potatoes at this point. Uh, for frames, that it's not that big of a deal. Uh, with Gifts of the Lotus, I'm pretty much never going to have to potato another frame. Kinda wish you could double potato them, instead of like a Forma. <laughs> oh, that'd be a little bit overpowered. It would be a little overpowered, but it'd also be really cool. I need to get a lens of my Atamos next. I think that would actually be a really good idea. Bought a beanbag chair from a company called Yogi Boat. Oh, jeez. Why is that so far away? Well, that's what this is for. Uh, yeah, I bought a beanbag chair from a company called Yogi Boat a couple months ago. It's really comfortable. I need to use it more often, though. I'm kind of limited on time and whatever. Um, but, so, I bought a beanbag chair from them, and I still get emails from them being like, Don't you want to buy more beanbag chairs? And, like... 
I don't mind it too much. Um, I are we done? I guess Escher already got it. All right, well, I don't have to do shit. He probably came out of this cave. This one. I don't think I've been in this one before. I'm gonna go in. There we go. I'd like to get the achievement. Let me see. Well, I guess let's just wait. Unfortunately, we can't really do much while we wait here. Just kind of fly around and just be like, yeah, I have an Astla. There's an OC remix today. Well, there's the boil all, all the way over there. I guess the thing is, I could always just kind of bum around. Oh, whoa, why? I'm really glad I'm flying because that's like the opposite end of the map. That's really mean. That poor guy that has the toxin canister, it's going to have to run the whole way, and I guess I'm going to have to wait for them. That's not so bad. I'll just fight nearby Grenier or whatever. Or just fly. I really wish they hadn't limited it yet. It'd be so nice if they actually... I don't know what planet it would be on, but I really want them to do... He's already over here. How? How is he so fast? I guess maybe I'm not flying fast enough or any number of things. Okay. But yeah, I want I want them to actually have a... Uh, a big open map um, for uh, for one of their open worlds that's like extremely vertical in nature, like tons of uh, tons of enemies that are like on islands and stuff, floating in the sky. Just the idea of like um, just the idea of like kind of flying uh, flying from like island to island on my, uh, flying from, like, island to island on my arc wing, uh, while fighting stuff. Sounds really cool. I'm trying to think of a good example. I guess, like, World of Warcraft-wise, there was, there were a couple of, like, neat things along the way. Why is there an Eidolon lure? I have no idea. I should probably actually go... Gunning for the uh, the drop ships. So do we have one coming in? Because I can kill the drop ships. That one's leaving though. Unfortunately, they seem to be uh, they seem to be dropping down outside of my line of sight, which is kind of a nuisance. Because yeah, I'd I'd really enjoy blasting them out of the sky. Oh, that reminds me. We can at least do three. I do, don't have the uh, the idol on to 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 the back, but I've got the other bit. Oh, and there's the other two. Awesome. A oh, little bit late. Yeah, so they seem to be stepping down in here, but we've only got a minute, so chances are probably not going to get another drop shop drop shop in the area. Drop ship, maybe. Drop shop, definitely not. That'd actually be kind of cool if uh, there were occasionally uh, workbenches. No, I guess you don't really uh, you don't really spend a whole lot of time building in Warframe. Well, no, you spend a lot of time building. You don't really spend a whole lot of time building things quick in Warframe. Okay, so how long does that last? That actually, with like no duration, her her Hall of Mirrors lasts a fairly long time. Okay, I can dig it. Unfortunately, I don't know how long it lasts. Can I? Okay, so it looks like I can switch it out kind of freely. Augur message, which I'm fairly certain I already have, but like whatever. Yeah, I gotta get I gotta get me a lens or uh or my Ignis. 
Well, I guess I have I have a lens, but just oh, this plus my my lens or my ignis would be uh, kind of nuts. I'd really enjoy that. I should probably go. Uh, I should probably go help. I wonder if it works with my uh, Atomos. Okay, I actually know almost nothing about how Mirage Mirage's numbers go, like, and what weapons work for it. I I know with stuff like Lens and Atomos and like Tonkor, it was amazing back in the day. Yeah, Iron Fourteen Focus. I'll be there in about two years. Vazarin, I'm coming for you. I don't know why I default to old man voice uh, when I'm, like, kind of being mildly sarcastic or, like, over-excessive, but still. I do. Someday I should just do a series where I, I play as just an old man. Just ham it up. There it goes. That'd be fun. Dumb, but fun. One of the, uh, one of the th things I actually kind of appreciate about the... Um... <laughs> that was fast. Holy shit, the Astle is accurate. For a shotgun, it is... Um... For a shotgun, it kind of does absurd things at long ranges. Like, I kind of feel like... Uh... I don't want to say DE missed the mark with uh, assault rifles, but there's so many assault rifles in this game that are... There's so many assault rifles in this game that fire really, really quickly and not much else. Uh, and so many shotguns that effectively act as, like, sort of sniper rifles. It's... Well, not maybe not sni sniper rifles, but, like... Decently, like, mid-range rifles that shoot slowly and do, like, a lot of single-target damage. I guess that would be the, uh, the way to describe it. Combo this with, like, an explosive payload that doesn't hurt me. I mean, you get absurdly good. At least... It's kind of how it works. I don't know. Uh, and I wish they... I wish there were some more guns. Kind of like the Latron, but, you know, maybe a little bit better. Because uh, I actually rather like the Vectus. It, it, it's almost like a scout rifle. I just wish it didn't have that scope. Yeah, so focus on duration with Mirage. It's our number, number one to do Hall of Mirrors. Well, I guess we might as well try goo. Goo. Extra goo. Holy shit, this is effective. I... I think I... I think I'm in love. With this ability. In my last episode, I just titled goo. And I think today I... I've got more headshots with the Atomos than I've gotten with, uh... Than I got with trying with my Asola. That's just kind of embarrassing. Let's see. Um, but yeah, so this is... Uh, I think I might... I think I might title this episode, like... multi goo Is he already dead? Holy shit, he's already dead. Somebody's wrecking this guy's shit. I actually really hope they keep this mission type around. Uh, or modify it slightly. Because this is actually more fun fun to me than most of the uh, other bounties. The other bounties ain't bad. I just almost wish there were some bounties that had you go to like one specific location and do multiple objectives there. Another thing I really, really adore about this... Uh, mission is it is mission these bounties is they are absurdly good for um for endo which is something that I've been desperately in need of for the longest time
Look at all that cool. Admittedly, I'm not really hurting the hemocyte at all, but like whatever. I'm just I'm just here to clear clear goons. Is kind of distracting having all of my mirages next to me, but at the same time, it is worth. Yeah, at some point I'll have to properly fight the hemocyte myself. Oh, yeah, you can even see the next one coming. Ooh, Hunter munitions. Yeah, uh, we're gonna fill out that stance pretty quick. No idea if it's actually any good. I do wish that they had a better animation for the hemocyte coming out than just like walking straight out, and just clipping through. At the same time, oh well, it's not that big of a deal. Okay. I'm really, I'm really, I keep trying to hit my own, my own mirages here. I'll be fine, I think. Ow. Ooh. I think my favorite part is you can hear the, you can hear the infested popping when they die. Uh, so when I when I hit them with the uh, with the full goo, they just crunch, 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 crunch. There they all go. Oh, it's so good, it's so good. And maybe I sh maybe I shouldn't hit the the spawner things. They are very satisfying. I wonder, I like, I wonder if you can actually. I'll have to uh. Hunter track. I will have to um, maybe bug my my uh, friends about this. Uh, see if we could do a mission where we actually don't fight the hemocyte. We just sit around farming. That's probably not so efficient. I guess we did get like neurodes though, because this is Earth. It'd be a really good neurode farm and a really good affinity farm. The other materials aren't so helpful though, so. I could kind of see why. Uh, I could kind of see why it wouldn't be worth it, but at the same time, this is nuts. I mean, my Mirage has already gained, like, what? Three to six levels, give or take? He's still alive. Probably not for long. Looks like they're just kind of up there. Now, the other thing is, I should really bring my Banshee out here. I could bring my Limbo out here, be a complete jerk. That'd be funny. Are you dead yet? Nope. Ooh. I... I should probably switch to my Astola, but it is just so effective. Just gooing this guy in the everything. Alright, and there it goes. Woo! That's a lot more standing than I thought I was I was thought I was gonna get from this. If it's based on speed. No idea. Blue. Oh. I guess we did take a lot of toxin damage from that, so. Okay, well we've got uh I'm I'm not gonna Hall of Mirrors it. We're done. Yeah, I think I'll have to put a lens on this thing. It is just too good. Okay, I think we're good. They're already there. How is that guy so fast? He, like, revived himself and he's over there now. I mean, I guess it's not that long of a distance and flying could do it. It just, I keeps feeling, feeling like this guy's, like, uh... Zipping around maybe a little bit too fast. Oh, did we have an ember? We did have an ember in all of this. Kind of impressed I was able to even goo things this time around. Oh, jeez, this... I really hope this bounty doesn't go away. Because I just realized it would be an amazing focus farm, too. I mean, a little bit of a slow preamble, but whatever. Host my... Oh well. 
Yeah, I heard there was a way to leave the mission early without, uh, like, once the bounty was done. But I don't... I don't know. Well, I guess I'm over here now. Where's the... I'm pointed the wrong direction. That's dumb. I wonder if they'll ever make it so host migration doesn't require load time. I want to get these wings someday. Unfortunately, uh, so there's actually a sale going on right now. I should probably t go take a look at that. that. Alright, so we got Hunter Track, which I think I already had. Yeah, it doesn't look like the Hunter set's really for me. But still. Okay, uh, I could do another bounty. I'm not sure I have enough time for it, though. I do. Just leave this squad. Let, let's do another one, maybe. No, 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 no. Let's let's leave. Uh, that'll have to be it for today. I'm still kind of weirdly crazy busy. Um, so there is a sale going on right now, and I feel like I should probably bring it up just because. Uh, actually, a couple of things. For starters, uh, nominate Warframe for Labor of the Labor of Love Award on uh, on Steam. You don't have to do this, but uh, if you guys are, I, if you guys like this game, uh, head on over to the uh, the Steam Awards, like the Steam page for Warframe, and nominate it for Labor of Love. I mean, it definitely deserves it. Um, obviously, there are other games, and you can totally debate me on this one, but uh, I figure I should shout it out anyway. Um, but so the other thing, yeah, the camera angles, there we go. Uh, the other thing to mention is that there's also the Great Fashion Frame sale going on right now. Which is, I mean, it's all Platinum stuff. Uh, but specifically, a bunch of the Deluxe skins that you can't uh, buy normally uh, with in-game currency. Still aren't available with in-game currency, but you can at least buy them with uh, Platinum for cheaper. Uh, which, I don't know, that sounds cool. Is the Ember Vermilion on sale? No, it's not. I was really hoping it would be. It's too new. Yeah, the Shrinks armor is not on sale. Pretty much anything that's new. Actually, these are new. Well, but, uh, let's see. We have a submachine gun. And a twin-bladed polearm that looks really cool. I've got to get a, uh, the first access thing. From Warframe. They, they sent me an email about it. I'm really lazy. Um, Ostron Rug Collection? Huh. I if I can just put rugs on stuff. Okay, well, that's not what I'm interested in. I have platinum. These are... They really need, like, a sales section here. Like, badly. A sales section would help so much. Okay, so is the Magnuma skin available? They really just don't advertise this at all. Okay, let's do bundles? Or is it, like, Warframe? Can I... Ah! Deluxe bundles. That's not on sale. Is the skin on sale? If it's not, I'm gonna feel real foolish. Deluxe skins. Okay, here we go. The deluxe skins. These are the deluxe skins that are on sale. I was kind of hoping the whole uh, bundles would be. Uh, but still, so if you've been holding out for any of... Many of these? Uh, it's a good-ish time to pick it up. Might actually get the Excalibur proto-armor. Seeing as we've got, uh... Excal Umbra coming up. I don't know. I like the, uh... I like the weird arm, and it, you can't tell, but he's got some, like, sweet boots. And there's also, like, the Saren Orphid skin. Which isn't bad. I really wish it would actually give us the full model viewer for this. I also really wish the full bundles were on sale, too. So, is the... The other one would be the... The Banshee Soprano skin. Which, this one, I'm actually very likely to pick up. I'm going to be playing it uh, soon, anyway. Yeah, it looks like the... The whole bundle isn't included. Well, that's kind of butts. I was hoping it would be, so I could get the... Sonic or skin. Hi. <sighs> Alright, well, whatever. I'm going to just... be mildly disappointed, I guess. Because, yeah, I'm going to be... I'm going to be playing my Banshee Prime uh, fairly soon, and I'd like to pick it up. Sadly, none of the uh, Tenogen stuff is on sale either. So, it's a bit of a light sale for... 
for a Black Friday. I was kind of hoping they'd have a little bit more than that, but still. Okay, well, um, hmm. A bit of a short episode, but I actually have to go out shopping. After Thanksgiving, I, uh, I have run completely out of, like, available food. We gotta go get some more. Especially because I don't even have Thanksgiving until tomorrow. Uh, my holidays are awful. Uh, for people that don't know, I'm an internet hermit. Ha. <laughs> and, uh, so I live by my, well, I live with Shell. Uh, off in Kansas. We don't know anybody around us. Except for her great aunt, who is busy for Thanksgiving Day. So we had our own, like, private little Thanksgiving. And then tomorrow we're actually going to be having kind of more of an official Thanksgiving. We kind of did. Not really. She's yelling from the other room. It happens. Anyway, so I'll see you guys in the next episode of Warframe. Uh, which is probably just going to be back to back to back. Uh, idle on farming. Oh, actually that's the last thing I can, can do. Yeah, uh, the problem is I don't want to get into another 20 minute bounty run. Because uh, I don't have time for it today. But... We can at least go down there and get the, um, we can get the thing to, to be built. Really wish you could actually, uh, set your default landing position. Having to run all the way in here initially was cool, but eventually I just kind of want to land next to the, uh, to Kanzu. Okay. She is... We get very lost around here. There she is. Okay, operational supply or browse wares. Oh, she's got these. Oh, I could get a Trinity mask. Sure. I want to get one of each, honestly. Who's this? Oh, it's a flare. Oh, this significantly increases infinity range. Well, active. That's actually kind of cool. I'll get them later. I assume these are the same things. The problem is it costs me a fair bit. What's the other one do? That's uh, also affinity range. Well, we can get the Plague Star Emblem, which I'm going to pick up just because. Because I don't think I can get that again. Okay, I've still got 2,500 standing. So, sacrifice and stuff, not really that helpful. Um, they don't really care too much about ether daggers. Actually, I should probably make sure... I don't have the Snipatron uh, blueprint, so I should probably pick that up. I don't know if I've ever done ether daggers. I'll have to check. Uh, but I might as well buy the, uh, buy the blueprints for each of the weapons. And then, once once I'm done getting all of the unique things, then we'll get back up here and just buy a bunch of Cetus Wisps. Uh, because I need them for... Making stuff, if I remember right? I don't I actually remember what I need Cetus Wisps, Wisps for. Oh, I need them to make a better amp. Yeah, that would do it. Well, either way, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Warframe. And as always, thanks for watching.